How are you doing, everybody? Today we are going to talk about application of empirical rule in statistics. So without further ado, I'll share my screen with you. Application of empirical rule. In a recent survey of 655 working adults, the average weekly amount spent on lunch was $44.60 with standard deviation of $2.81. The weekly amounts are bell shaped Between what two values will approximately 95% of the amounts be? Estimates the percentage of amounts that are less than 41.79. Estimate the percentage of amounts that were greater than $50.22. Estimate the percentage between $44.60 and $47.41. So, since uh, the lunch amounts or the money spent on lunch are approximately bell shaped we will use the empirical rule for bell shaped distribution. The mean is 44.60 and standard deviation is 2.81, okay? So two times sigma is two multiplied by 2.81 is 5.62, okay? So mu minus two sigma is 44.60 minus 5.62 is 38.98. And mu plus two sigma is 44.60 plus 5.62 or 50.22. According to empirical rule, approximately 95% of the data will fall between $38.98 and 50.22, two sigma, okay? Part B. Estimate the percentage of amounts that were less than $41.79. Now, uh, mu plus sigma is 44.60 plus 2.81 is 47.41. And mu minus sigma is 44.60 minus 2.81 is 41.79. According to empirical rule, for bell shaped distribution, approximately 68% of the data will fall between 41.79 and 47.41. Thus, 100 minus 68 is equal to 32% of the data will be less than 41.79 or greater than 47.41. Since the bell shaped curve is symmetric, half of the 32% or 32 divided by 2 is 16% of the data will be less than 41.79. So that's the answer point for part B. For part C, estimate the percentage of the amounts that were greater than 50.22. As we have show, seen, or as we I have shown earlier, uh, approximately 95% of the data will fall between 38.98 and $50.22. So hence 100 minus 95 is equal to 5% of the data will be greater than $50.22 or smaller than 38.98. Since the bell shaped curve is symmetric, half of the 5% or five divided by two is equal to 2.5% will be greater than 50.22. In part D, they're asking, estimate the percentage between $44.60 and 47.41. Now, we have already shown in part B that 68% of the data will fall between 41.79 and 47.41. Hence, half of the 68% or 68 divided by two is 34% of the data will fall between 44.60 and 47.41. Remember, mean is 44.60. So the total area between 41.79 and 47.41 is approximately 68%, and half of that, or 68 divided by two, 34% will fall between 44.60, which is the mean, and 47.41. So I will stop here today. If you have any questions, please write me a comment. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And please subscribe to my channel using the red subscribe button. Please click on the red subscribe button. I come back every week with new problems, new solutions.
Okay. See you next time. Thanks for watching and have a great day.